The city of Sheboygan recently hired a city manager to oversee the day-to-day -day administrative and operational management of the city. In light of these changes, how would you now define the role of the mayor of Sheboygan? As mayor, I would speak for the community, be the voice of the people, the city ambassador, be up front and be out there. The first half of the question actually answers part of the question itself. The administrator oversees day to day the details of budgets, administration, personnel management. This year the budget process was a bit chaotic. The mayor submitted a budget with over a million dollar shortfall days before a state deadline. I believe that a mayor should set a vision for the community and an administrator should iron out details with the concurrence of the council, standing committees, and department heads. In the budget process, the administrator and I would be flip sides of the same coin, the budget. I, I expect to work well with Mr. Amodio, as well in the future as I have in the past. Since I have a financial background, he and I tend to speak the same language. Secondly, as mayor, if I'm speaking for the people, first I have to listen to the people. I've knocked on doors in every district in the city, all eight of them. I wanted to find out who each alderman represented, and this is what I found. Divergence of opinions within the same districts, within the same blocks in the same districts. Literally, at one end of the block I heard, we need to have more city services and I'm willing to have to raise my taxes to do that. And at the other end of the block, the very same block, we need to trim back. We need to trim back city services. We can't afford any more taxes. A mayor is responsible for encouraging the common in the common council. Not common as in ordinary, but common as in shared values. A mayor needs to ask, what is it that we can all agree upon so we can move this city forward? So, the challenge of a mayor is to get people of differing opinions working together with patience and understanding, not with anger and arrogance. And finally, a mayor represents the city to the places beyond, to the regional planning boards, commissions, groups, and state capital, and to would-be Sheboygan businesses elsewhere in this nation. We need someone who can, with confidence, step outside of the city and yet carry the city with them. I see the mayor working with the SCEDC, the chamber, and all of their business endeavors to help do that. As mayor, that would be my job description.